Inshallah, in this class, we are going to continue with the Stokes theorem. We already have done two parts on this previous classes. Those who have not seen that, first I request them to go through the continuation of that. Okay, first we watch the part one, then part two. Now this is the part three for Stokes theorem. See the question: Evaluate using Stokes theorem. In the previous classes, we have you done the question based on verification. Verify. Means when when we have to verify, we have to do by both the methods, both the methods, by using line integration and by using curl integration. We know already the formula of Stokes theorem is formula of Stokes theorem is this integration f dot dr curl integral line integration equals to surface integration curl f dot and ds. When we have to verify, we have to do the method by line integration also and surface integration also. Whereas using if the word is like this using the stokes theorem or evaluate by using stokes theorem then we are going to solve the line integration by using curl integration we are not going to solve by line integration we are going to use the line curl uh, surface integration to if you find the line integration so let me see one after one f is given now if you watch the vertices of the triangle over the boundary bounded by the triangle with vertices vertices are given these are the vertices we have to find this method using this method okay now if you watch carefully here z is 0 z coordinate is 0 z coordinate is 0 all the three have the, the z coordinate 0 that means the, the triangle lies on xy plane since z coordinates are 0 since z coordinates are 0 therefore what we can say the triangle lies on xy plane this is the first step and the second step is so we can take this z as 0 no? since on the xy plane z will be equals to 0 z will be equals to 0 this is the first step now see here next one even we can write like this also dz is also 0 dz is, sorry dz is also 0 however we are not going to use this okay and next thing is watch carefully next step is what we have to find this is the xy plane therefore for xy plane what is the perpendicular vector unit perpendicular vector will be k k we already know this suppose this is x this is y so what will be the unit vector this will be perpendicular to this will be the z axis this we take as k so it doesn't require to find n n is already k also, what is the formula for ds here on the xy plane we have having dx dy by n dot k because n is here k, k dot k will be 1. So, ds will again, this will be dx dy. So, already we have seen n, then ds also. Let me find curl f. So, we already know what is curl f, c u r l. Curl f is nothing but del cross f. How to write del cross f? Here we write i, j, k. Del means do by do x, do by do y, do by do z. No, next step, watch watch carefully. Here we have to write f f. See here, coefficient of f r y square x square minus of x plus y, x plus z. Sorry. Now I'm writing here y square x square minus of x plus z. Now let me solve this one equals to i into if you take i what is left here see here if you take i we left with we have to multiply this two and this two if you multiply this two we have to differentiate with respect to y this is like this dou by dou y of x plus z but we don't have y here we have to differentiate partially with respect to y this is constant zero this is constant zero so this would be zero minus now if you multiply this two actually we have to differentiate x square with respect to partial with respect to z we don't have z here so this will be also 0 minus j into if you take j we have to multiply this two if you multiply this two actually what we are doing dou by dou x of minus x minus z so with respect to x d by dx of x is 1 this will be minus 1 this constant is 0 minus 1 plus k into so if you take k see here so what is left here if you take k this you will get multiplied dou do by dou x of x means x square means this will be 2x minus 2y 
So what is left here? Curl F. So curl F is nothing but curl F equals to minus one S plus J. If you take common two, you can write like this two into X minus Y into K. Now next step is let me find del F dot N. Sorry, curl F dot N. So if you take curl F dot N, so this will be J plus two into X minus Y into K dot what is and we are having k so k means you no know, dot product means we have to multiply i coefficients j coefficients k coefficients we don't have i here j also here one here j is no so one into zero will be zero if you multiply k coefficients you left with two into x minus one k dot k will be one two into x minus one so you left with two into x minus y two into x minus y now see here already we have done you see here we started with we have seen what is what is n then what is ds then we find curl f then we have find curl f dot n now we have to see the limits for the limits for the integrations let me see now now let me see the what is the surface we are having you see here let me take these points we don't have z so let me take only x axis and y axis this is the origin now see here 1 comma 0 comma 0 means this is 1 comma 0 that is this suppose this point is on the x-axis 1 comma 0 and this point will be sorry it is not 1 comma this is like this 0 comma 1 comma 0. I wrote the b value wrong that actually the b value is 0 comma 1 comma oh, achha, so just wait. Now this is 1 only. Now watch here x is 1 y is 1 suppose this is y 1. So this point will be x1, y1. So if you join this, you'll have this triangle. So this point is 0, 0, 1, 0. So this is the triangle. Let me take first x constants. Limits of x as constants. So x here is 0, here x is 1. So x equals to 0 to x equals to 1 x equals to 0 to x equals to 1 whereas we have to take y in terms of x we have to take y in terms of x you see here for y we go like this vertical line this is y this is y so y goes from here to the line here to the line here to the line <coughs> y coordinates changes from the x axis to the line so x axis is nothing but y equals to 0 so the lower limit of y will be y equals to 0 to y equals to line we have to find the equation of this line from the previous classes you know if we are having two points we can find the equation of line by using the formula y minus y1 equals to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1 suppose this is x1 y1 this is x2 y2 so y minus y1 equals to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1 so what is left here y equals to x so this line equation is y equals to x so we are going from y equals to 0 to y equals to x y equals to 0 to y equals to x <coughs> sorry now let me solve surface integration del cross f dot n ds equals to first you write the coefficients of x sorry limits of x equals to 0 to x equals to 1 now let me take y in terms of x y equals to 0 just to you don't know y equals to x this value we got 2 into x minus y just know we solve no this value is 2 into x minus y right two constant as outside what is left here x minus y first we are integrating with respect to y then with respect to x okay now the next step no let, just we have to solve this integration equals to 2 into we write this x equals to 0 to 1 as it is now we have to integrate with respect to y here we don't have y here so this is constant with constant we must suppose 1 integration of 1 is y we are integrating with respect to y we don't have y here so we suppose here 1 integration of 1 is y y into x x y so this will be x y integration of y power 1 is y power n plus 1 by n plus 1 that is y square by 2 y square by 2 its limits are 0 to x dx now we have to suppose the upper limit minus lower limit 0 to 1 if we put upper limit in place of y x so x into x will be x square minus x square by 2 now let me if you suppose if you substitute the lower limit it will be 0 so the what we got so we got this as sorry so let me take LCM here equals to 2 into integration 0 to 1. If you take LCM, 
2 into x square, 2 x square minus x square will be x square by 2 dx. So let me cancel this one. Again, integration of x square is x power n plus 1 by n plus 1, that is x cubed by 3. What are the limits? 0 to 1. So if you substitute upper limit, it will be 1 by 3. And the lower limit will be 0. So its value is nothing but 1 by 3. Now see the next question. Apply Stokes theorem. We already have done one question where we have to apply, we have to find the line integration using surface integration. We have to find the line integration using surface integration. What is the question here? Let me go one step by step. What is the question here? We have to find integration of y dx plus x z dy plus x dx. Now watch carefully. If you watch this, in place of f dot dr, what you are having y dx plus z dy plus x dz. So we can write like this, watch carefully, f dot r. Now we can write like this, i y into i vector plus z into j vector plus k into x into k vector in dot i dx plus j dy plus k dz. Now I won't explain why. If you multiply this, you will get y dx plus z dy plus x that means this is the value of f f dot dr f dot dr so actually this is f here y i plus z j plus x q so therefore let me write f factor equals to y i plus z j sorry z j plus x q the first step we got f now next step is you see here let me go the for the we got f now we can find curl f also let me find curl f we are going one after one step curl f now what is curl f c u r l curl f is nothing but del cross f we can find this del cross f now see here i j k i j k here f del is do by do x do by do y do by do z and here you are having f as y z x y z x now let me find this i into we have to multiply this two so we have to differentiate with respect do by do y of x do by do y of x we have to integrate with respect to different differentiate partially with respect to y we don't have y this is x so this is constant 0 minus you have to multiply this two do by do z of z it will be 1 so this will be minus 1 minus j into now we have to multiply this to do by do x of x will be 1 do by do z of y constant 0 plus k into if you multiply this to do by do z of x of z will be 0 minus do by do y of y will be 1 so minus i minus j minus k so let me write this minus i minus j minus k or else we can take common minus curl f equals to if you take minus common i plus j plus k so i just told you, you know we are going step by step so see here we find this now the next thing is we have to find what is actually n here how to find n and what are the limits of this n and the limits of this and dz dx uh, dx sorry ds now let me continue just now now see here for this what is given C is the curve of intersection of the sphere and the plane. This is plane. X plus Z equals to A is the plane. Equation of plane is AX plus BY plus CZ equals to D. So this is sphere, three-dimensional X square. I will try to explain this. This is very important concept. Watch this carefully. Suppose a rough figure is here to understand the concept. This is the sphere. Suppose you consider this is the sphere. Okay. Now next thing is this will be center and the sphere equation will be x square plus y square plus z square equals to a square so a is here watch carefully a is here radius so this is the value of a next thing is x plus z equals to a that means we don't have y here there is no intercept on y that is the plane is exact plane we don't have y so this plane uh, lies on exact plane lies on Suppose let me imagine this x. If you imagine this x, this imagine this z. So this is exact plane. Suppose just imagine. 
So this is intercept form, you know, x by a plus y by b equals to 1, no? If you divide by a, this will be by a by a by a. This is 1. So if we cross this plane, if you cross this plane here, suppose this is the plane, just you have to imagine this. So <coughs> for plane also, this is a a. If you consider, watch carefully, if you uh, imagine that if we cut this sphere with this plane, you will find you you form a circle here it will become a circle it will become a circle of diameter a. not diameter this is the diameter we have to find you have to imagine if you cut this uh, sphere with this plane x plus y a, a, z equals to a you will find a circle here with this as the diameter so let me find the diameter what is the diameter here this will be the uh, the what we can say the intersection of x square plus y square plus z square equals to a square and x plus y equals to a is a circle is a circle with radius let me find you see here what is the here hypotenuse let me write this day d so d square equals to a square plus a square d equals to root root to a so what will be the radius? Radius equals to the diameter by 2. So this will be root 2 a by 2. This will be a by root 2. So radius of the circle will be a by root 2. Radius of the circle will be a by root 2. This is one thing. Next thing is let me find the unit vector, normal vector. For that let me take the suppose this plane as, suppose I am supposing this plane as 5. 5 equals to x plus y, x plus y. Uh, what is here bring this a here x plus y minus a so n is nothing but unit vector perpendicular to the plane in the previous classes we have seen n means unit vector perpendicular to the plane so this formula will be is del phi by mod of del phi mod of del phi what is del phi let me find first del phi del phi will be i do phi do by do phi by do x plus j do phi by do y plus k do phi by do z. So let me if we solve this one you see here i into if you might differentiate this partially with respect to x you will get 1. So i into 1 will be i plus j into if you sub sorry we are having here z sorry the plane is x plus z equals to so x plus z. So we don't have y here so differentiation with respect to y is 0 plus k into z differentiation is 1, z differentiation is 1. So therefore we got del phi equals to, this is 0, what is left here i plus k, i plus k. No unit vector perpendicular to the plane, unit vector perpendicular to the plane is del n, sorry, n equals to, del phi is i plus k by magnitude means we have to take root of square coefficients square 1 square plus 1 square so this is nothing but n equals to i plus k by 1 plus 1 so you see here now we got curl f we got n we got we, we will see this ds integration afterwards now one thing is left we have to find curl f dot n curl f dot n. see here therefore curl f dot n equals to in the just now we got curl f as minus of i plus j plus k dot n n is i plus k by root 2 by root 2. so see here what is the dot product we have to multiply the coefficients of i 1 into 1 is 1 plus we have to multiply the coefficients of j we don't have j here 0 k is 1 by root 2 this is minus 2 by root 2 we can write like this 2 can be written as root 2 into root 2 minus root 2 into root 2 by root 2 root 2 root 2 will get cancelled what is left here root 2 so we got curl at f dot n i am continuing here see here therefore once more i write this now see here what is left here therefore double integration surface integration curl f dot n ds you write this double integration as it is now curl f dot n curl f dot n we got minus root 2 minus root 2 ds minus root 2 ds 
see here now if you take out root 2 minus outside this is surface integration ds surface integration ds will be the s surface integral ds you must remember this like we integrate like this integration of dx will be x in the same way integration of ds will be s s is the surface of the circle s is the surface area of the circle minus root 2 into this is nothing but area of circle now what is the area of circle pi r square equals to minus root 2 into pi into r just now we have find a by root 2 a by root 2 whole square r is a by root 2 whole square now just we'll complete now so what is left here minus root 2 pi into a square by root square cancel 2 now the last step this root 2 will get cancelled you will get left with here minus root 2 minus pi a square by root, this can be written as root 2 into root 2 1 root 2 will get cancelled this is root 2 square units so this is one of the examples alhamdulillah we have done mashallah two questions in this part on based on strokes theorem previous also we have done few questions so you practice these questions by yourself practice for one more one or two co more questions inshallah in the next class in the next part we are going to see the divergence theorem we are going to see the divergence theorem in the next class